So the home opener is in the books. Texas prevailing against the Rice Owls by a score of 37 to 10. And after watching the game and speaking to several fellow alums and fans of UT football, I noticed just a little trepidation about the effort they saw on the field Saturday. Some folks were concerned about the margin of victory, especially compared to last season's home opener against Louisiana Monroe. And seeing as how that was a cause for concern, I took it upon myself to pull up the box scores from both of those games and put them side by side so we can take a closer look and analyze what exactly happened during both home openers. And by doing so to see if there is a cause for concern for Texas football. And as you can see in both box scores, we see the margin of victory from last year to this year. Last year, Texas won by 42. This season, Texas beat Rice in the home opener by 27 points. Having seen that, let's take a look at the offensive and defensive production from Saturday's game and compare that with 2022's home opener. Now on Saturday, in most ways, Texas actually outperformed their effort in 2022. As you can see, Texas had more first down Saturday than last year. Texas had a greater number of total yards, passing yards, and rushing yards this Saturday compared to last year. Equally as important, Texas had fewer turnovers Saturday than they did in 2022, having zero Saturday against Rice compared to one against ULM last year. And Longhorns had much better time of possession Saturday as compared to a year ago. Against Rice, they held onto the ball for 31 minutes and 36 seconds. You compare that to ULM, Texas's time of possession last year only 24 minutes and 34 seconds. Defensively, Texas made huge improvements on Saturday compared to their effort a year ago. First and foremost, they forced three turnovers against the Owls. Compare that to last season, Texas forced one turnover against ULM. Even more importantly, though, the Longhorns only allowed 176 yards of total offense from Rice. And of that total, incredibly, only 27 yards on the ground from the Owls. I don't care who you are or who you're playing against. If you hold a team to only 27 rushing yards, that is an incredible feat. If the total yards were higher, if there were more first downs, and if the defense played a far superior game compared to last year, what's the issue? Why didn't we win by more points? Well, I think the secret to that lies in efficiency. Number one, if you look at fourth down efficiency, you'll see that Texas on Saturday was only one for three on fourth down conversions. And that first failed conversion actually led to Rice's first score of the game. Last season, 2022 against ULM, Texas was three for three on fourth down conversions. Additionally, if you look at yards per pass and yards per run, Texas had lower production on Saturday than a year ago. So taking a look at this as a whole, there's a couple of conclusions that we should draw. Number one, Texas needs to shore up the offensive line play. In the first half of the game on Saturday, the offense as a whole and the line in particular seemed to sputter a little bit. It seems like they just weren't on the same page. And I think that's something that can be ironed out between week one and week two. There are things that can be addressed in practice to iron out those differences and to get better performance. The second issue may be something that takes a little bit longer to resolve. I don't think the Horns have decided who the guy is in the backfield. I don't think they've decided who their number one is as far as a running back yet. And that probably accounts for some of the lower per run production we saw on Saturday. And that's an issue that probably won't be decided by week two. I think that's something that's just going to naturally develop as the season unfolds. As such, I don't think that's a cause for concern so much as a need to be patient. You don't just replace a running back like Bijan Robinson overnight. It's going to take a little bit of time. And I think Texas will figure that out probably in the first three or four games of the year. 
So overall, I don't see a cause for concern at all coming from Texas. In fact, I think there should be a cause for celebration, especially when you look at that defensive side of the ball. As we move into SEC play in 2024, and quite frankly, as we get into Big 12 play this season, we're going to need that defense to step up and continue to be the rock of the team. And I think that's what you're going to see. So something to keep in mind as we move into week two, I am totally looking forward to next week's game against Alabama. It should be the game of the week. And until then, I say God bless each and every one of you. Hook'em horns, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.